Just two days before the election, FBI Director James Comey has yet again weighed in on the Hillary Clinton email server investigation. Today, in a letter to Congress, Comey said that the FBI has not found anything in those new emails discovered that would change their conclusions reached in July. Here's what Comey had to say back then in July. Although we did not find clear evidence that Secretary Clinton or her colleagues intended to violate laws governing the handling of classified information, there is evidence that they were extremely careless in their handling of very sensitive, highly classified information. Although there is evidence of potential violations of the statutes regarding the handling of classified information, our judgment is that no reasonable prosecutor would bring such a case. In short, Comey concluded that Hillary Clinton and her team were careless but not criminal. Now, for a week, it appeared to be an open question if the FBI would reevaluate its findings. Two Fridays ago, Comey informed Congress that his investigators had stumbled upon new, potentially pertinent emails uncovered on a computer, one that we later found out was shared by disgraced ex-Congressman Anthony Weiner with his wife, Clinton top aide Huma Abedin. I want to get right to my colleagues, Dana Bash and Pamela Brown. Pamela, uh, let's start with you. Once again, a curveball thrown into this right. by FBI Director Comey. Yeah, it's been a bit of a roller coaster ride to say the least, Jake. A surprise letter from Director Comey to members of Congress saying that the FBI has reviewed all of the relevant emails from Anthony Weiner's computer in that separate investigation. All the emails to and from Hillary Clinton and the FBI saying that after that review, it stands by the decision, the recommendation of no charges that it gave uh, back in July. But I can tell you, this is a surprise because by all accounts, Jake, from folks we've spoken to in the FBI, my colleague Evan Perez and I, this was something that was going to take a while and it was expected that this review would not wrap up until after the election because of how lengthy it can be separating the emails and then going to the different agencies to determine if there was classified information but clearly FBI director James Comey was aware of high how high the stakes were with the election right around the corner and uh, based on this letter he said I'm very grateful to the professionals at the FBI for doing an extraordinary amount of high quality work in a short period of time saying that essentially they have been working around the clock since these new emails were recovered and as a result of that Jake the FBI reviewed these additional emails to and from Hillary Clinton and determined um, that there still should not be charges and the bar was always high Jake because remember the FBI did find classified information on Hillary Clinton's emails in the initial investigation over the course of that year, but it didn't recommend charges because it had to prove intent that these emails, that the people sending them, including Hillary Clinton, knowingly and willingly sent classified information. So the bar was very high in this new batch of emails to uncover intent, and it's clear according to the FBI's letter that that did not happen. Uh, what's unclear, Jake, is whether new classified information was found in these emails. How many belonged to Hillary Clinton? How many were duplicates? Those details are not included in this. But the big news is that this probe is over for now, unless they find more emails, and that the FBI stands by its decision back in July. No charges against Hillary Clinton, Jake. And in this rather brief letter, the FBI director, James Comey, said that since his letter of two Fridays ago, October 28th, the FBI investigative team has been working around the clock to process and review a large volume of emails from that device. Uh, presumably, he means that literally that they have actually been working 24-7 yeah. or close to it. Dana Bash, I suspect what we're going to see now, first after the July conclusion by Director Comey and the FBI that Hillary Clinton's actions were careless but not criminal, mm -hmm. and Donald Trump and Republicans attacked him and Democrats defended him, then as of last Friday, Everybody switched places and Democrats attacked him and Republicans defended him. I suspect we're going to go back to in this game of musical chairs to the original position with Republicans attacking him and Democrats defending him. A am I being cynical? Uh, no, and I and I shouldn't be laughing, but there's nothing else really I think you can do at this point uh, but to, uh, to, to look at how bananas this is. Uh, you already are, are seeing from Kellyanne Conway, Donald Trump's campaign manager, sending out a tweet saying, uh, you know, to the Democrats who are saying, haha, we told you so, what happened to the way that you trashed James Comey before? To be fair, what the Democrats and what the Hillary Clinton campaign, Hillary Clinton herself, what they had been saying, certainly they were very critical of Comey, 
but it was because he left such a gray area. He allowed the speculation. He he sort of threw this out there without any conclusion and and allowed the Republicans to interpret it in a way that benefited them in the highest, highest uh, sort of most political moment in any time in American history. <laughs> and so that is why, uh, when I want American history, what I mean is just a week or so before a presidential election. So that is why this is, is turned on its head. I will say, privately, I was just texting with uh, a senior Republican strategist who said that there's no question that this is good for Hillary Clinton. You can't change the votes that have already and happened, early voting, but there's no question it's good. And then the question for, for Hillary Clinton, how are they going to get this out there? I was just texting with uh, a Clinton aide who said, uh, well, it's it's was more of a distraction because it was blocking out the sun. Take that from that what you will. And we should point out tens of millions of Americans have already voted in early. Exactly.